subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like. Leningrad, St. Petersburg. For the city of Lenin. For They're dead on the streets. Oh my God. Country border, Soviet Union. This is a very nicely put together a museum and it's free. Here's, I guess, is a typical house during the war, during the siege. Notice. This is just like uh, basically as if we're walking on that road of life. You see. This is Igor Russia, and this is uh, Salyanoy Periulok. Yes, Periulok. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna walk this uh, Salyanoy Periulok street alley and go to see the museum, war museum uh, dedicated to Leningrad uh, blockade. Blockade is a huge event, a huge undertaking that uh, the Russian people uh, managed to beat and uh, that's why you, everywhere you go in Leningrad and across the country, of course, in the Second World War monuments, you can see different things, how people commemorate these huge deeds. Anyways, here is a, actually a, a St. Pantelimon uh, Cathedral dedicated to the battles of Hankoniemi, where Finnish, uh, Russia beat Swedes in 17-something battle. And then there's uh, also a wall dedicated to it says uh, to the heroic defenders of uh, of Hanko, which is refers to the Second World War, which is interesting because it was uh, it was a rent, rented kind of I think was it? It was part of Russia, not part of Russia. It was rented for Russian. It was for, uh, then Finland area. So, anyways, let's got in the, not get into the Finnish. Uh, Russian Soviet conflict war. Uh, let's focus on the awesome place over here. The street is beautiful. Don't want to get too much into politics, anyways. It's interesting how, of course, it's been portrayed differently. I have also made a video about it, so check it out on my Finnish, Finnish Russia, uh, Finnish Russia playlist. And of course, I have. Russian Finland series as well. Anyways, here's some kind of a movie movie set. Anywhere you go in Russia, St. Petersburg, you see there's a there is a lots of stuff happening. I didn't know here. It just, you know, happens to be here that it's a movie set. Because probably because of this building. It's a humongous, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I think this is a university, actually. Don't think we're gonna get in. Or can we? Туда можно заходить нельзя? А съемки или? А так то он закрыт иду. Это мне что я не знаю, что это место просто иду. А, а они закрыты и завтра вечером, послезавтра будет. Дверь открыта, ему зайти. А что за фильм? Нельзя говорить. Серия? Сериал? Спасибо. Alright, so they cannot tell me what the M won't let me in. Check it out. Amazing place. So they say it's a museum. I think the other one is the uh, university. But anyways, I didn't film him, but uh, he was. Uh, he said that uh, uh, it's otherwise it's open, but not now. It's uh, being filmed, and I was like saying that uh, what movie? He said I cannot say. Well, I said like a series. He said no. So uh, no information. Maybe we'll see. Maybe you'll see Igor in Russia in a Russian movie. But I guess they're finishing off, so you won't see me in any in in movie except YouTube guys. But I've been on actually on uh, 
French TV with the border closing news because my video went viral in 2022. Amazing details, you have to actually take a little bit step back to enjoy this place. All right, Saliano Triulok. And I think it like, means like a, a salty, salty alley. And this here actually is that uh, uh, the university, I think, we'll see in a second. Beautiful historic area. Beautiful. It's like an art school, probably. I don't feel like going in, and you know, there's probably uh, safety measures, and I have to take the bag off, etc which I want. Where we're going is that next building over there. So yeah, Kinopolis is uh, the studio and cultural center, it says. There's the names of the actors, meaning that's the dressing room. It says that George, Alexandria. There's more names. Oh, a helicopter. It's always cool to see a helicopter. I don't know why. Everybody's always turned around. It's not as uh, it's a new technology or, or what, but everybody's always turning around. Right, guys, we're approaching the siege, Leningrad siege uh, museum. I was here, I think 2017, so I'm trying to also film them for my channel because if you're new to the channel, you don't know that I have actually an awesome Igor in Russia map. All my videos and locations are on a map, link in the video's description. You can uh, check it out, especially works well on laptop. Yes. That's a beautiful uh, sculpture here. Very beautiful. Very unique style. There's no text name of it, so not sure how to call it. And since we're approaching the Museum of Barone Leningrada, uh, meaning it says uh, it's a museum of uh, defense of Leningrad. You can see already some old artillery. This is from the late 19th century, probably. And this is a newer one, the air defense cannons. So let's check out this uh, first, uh, this beautiful other sculpture as well. Well, I think it's something it portrays people who are suffering throughout the, the uh, 900 days of the siege. 900 days, guys. The State Memorial Museum of Defense and Siege of Leningrad. So, yeah, like I said, this is a State Museum of uh, Defense and Siege of Leningrad. And we're gonna go in and check it out exclusively on Igor in Russia. Subscribe to the channel, like, and please support the channel if you really like what I do, or at least a little bit like what I do, because it takes a lot of effort to do this. All right, let's go check it out. I wonder how much does it cost?
Здравствуйте. Сколько билет стоит без всяких? А, нет, другие. -то. Бесплатные? Это бесплатно, то есть, да? А, я не знал. Спасибо. It's free, free of charge. Toilet is downstairs, so guys, I'm gonna show you all the best pieces. excursion so I'm not gonna speak too much all right I'm guessing there's a lot of floors here general Жданов. Right, guys. This looks pretty good. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of generals, names. So I'm not gonna go through them, it's gonna take forever. I'm trying to be as effective as I can and at, uh, whilst seeing everything we want to see. Actually, you can spend a whole day here. Actually, it's like we'll click on the, this person here. It's this one, Jake, General May, uh, Major, Major, General Major, Ratov Petr Filipovich. Thank you. 
barbed wire here. Oh wow. Some Germans, German uniform here. That's for with gas and burn, I don't know what for. The Gorod Lenin for the city of Lenin. Forward. We are high, so we're gonna see a lot of these maneuvers here. Leningradsky front, Leningrad front, Volhovsky front. the Leningrad people. Here's a tram, actually a few trams worked throughout the siege. I filmed the monument of uh, tram, tram monument. People that laid their dead on the streets. Oh my god. Check it out. This is like a reproduction of a of a city city battle, city outskirts battles. And walking on the streets of Saint Petersburg, I've actually seen some bunkers, old bunkers, covered. You see the doors uh, in a suburban area. I have seen, you have seen it with me on my channel, different videos, Lisnaya for example. There's like a, a bomb, small crater, burned wood. Zoom top KS six hundred. And that's the sign of a country border, Soviet Union. Children's uh, works for the ninth of uh, Victory Day. Everything for the front, Fjordia front. It's a touch screen, not gonna go into that. This is here, Marshal Gavorov. Man, huge operation. 
Sibirsky, Lubain, everywhere battles. Here's the tram I told you about. It's a blockade tram and I've seen the original tram in uh, after it's located there I'm trying to remember to put the link it actually worked there's some old posters as if in the streets of St. Petersburg pretty dark years to the tram of Leningrad blockade. This is pretty nicely done, the whole museum. Notice Pushkin on the wall. 19 41 to 1942 winter what they're counting here what schools worked yeah this is a per, uh, interpretation of how schools worked operated and what schools operated during the whole siege non-stop Even the artists worked throughout the siege. Я помню, я читала документальное записи о том, что Шостакович у дирижера стоял. Если Шостакович, симфония оркестра, есть это перформансы? Да, во время войны они выступали. Это как войны, да. What is Nord? Metro took it out. I love, I have a thing for Metro, so it's heartwarming to see this different, uh, different ways to uh, keep the fire, uh, fire position safe. Подождите. Так. What did I do for the front today? It says. This is a very nicely put together a museum and it's free. I was amazed. But it's uh, understandable. It's uh, this. It's something that everybody needs to know. Be careful. Don't tell the secrets. Secrets out loud. These wax figures are actually pretty uh, realistic. Here's, I guess, is a typical house during the war, during the siege, notice. Small, small bed. Notice some of our and small kettle. 
is a ration food. Everything was uh, counted <coughs> empty bread uh, bakery. Only yeah, like empty windows shut down. Just like this is a very surrealistic. Typical Petersburg doors. Normal with the The what time uh, amounts of bread given out? 250. I'm oh, sorry. 250 grams. 125 grams. Different amounts during different days. Here's the coupon. Food coupons. That's what she said. The drivers on the road of life, which was bombarded non-stop. It's a small road, which is the only one that kept St. Petersburg somehow. Uh, supplied the drivers worked non-stop even though they knew that they might die any moment and, the, and uh, they evacuated one million people from the city here you can see the evacuation process Notice the floor. That's the steering wheel from that ages. Check out the pictures. Different through water. They had it then. Uh, this is how they help transfer it underwater also. Not onto water, but partially. And this is uh, this is war uh, hero's uh, real jacket. Nina Vasilyevna Sokolova. Hey, I know her. I heard the name. Here is the battle of what? Leningradsky frontier. Oh well. Uh, this is uh, not Leningrad. Leningrad is to the left. This is uh, south of Lad Ladoga, Lake Ladoga. Schlisselburg city. I still want to visit. Some children's toys here. This is just like uh, basically as if we're walking on that road of life. You see, that's uh, cracking the ice, just like a road of life. Here's one of the propellers. Or not propellers, I think it's maybe for the boat. No, it is a propellers piece of uh, piece of uh, airplane. Here is a, and uh, if you're interested, if you're, if you're interested in road of life, I've been to the main. Mm, main point main place of road of life uh, memorials even though they're like scattered throughout leningrad all the way to that starting point uh but uh the the city is uh it just is kolpina of Sevalosk. that's the place where it's the main there's a huge beautiful memorials there for the road of life check out my video we'll try to put it on description
Small artillery. It has a front, Len front, Leningrad front, leading a magistral. Uh, and this is actually, we're going the wrong way, by the way. So here is actually, uh, it says the, um, the icy road or like highway, ice highway. And this is where we walked on. Highway, 30 kilometers long. Bullets, pieces of uh, different machinery, boat propellers. I'm pretty sure this is everything what's found, really found. This is not fake. There's no need to fake it because there's so much of it. Still, they find it all around swamps, etc. And left and right, we can see here's, for example, uh, for those who are uh, uh, those in uh, different gas attacks, firemen. There's the magazine Pravda. Let's uh, increase the fund fund of uh, uh, defense fund defense amount. Here's the leadership of uh, St. Petersburg, Leningrad, during that time. City government, governance during the siege. the other part you didn't see. Some artwork commemorating the horrors, not commemorating, remembering.
and on the right we can see that era different uh, bombs shells old shovel check it out it has a hole in it but this German sh casket not casket sorry in Russia it's Kaska uh, it means um, what do you call it anyways it has more holes now another one also nice interesting museum at the uh, 900 year memorial 900 days of siege of Leningrad memorial which I filmed outside <coughs> there's a also interesting by the way there's a Leningrad cat surviving it's interesting uh, here's a map of the whole city panorama main positions of different stuff factories you know arms production you can see Isaac's Cathedral etc all right this has been a siege of Leningrad museum here in St. Petersburg and uh, I hope you find this uh, touching informative interesting uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like and see you guys in the next video from Leningrad, St. Petersburg. Bye bye. Isaac's Cathedral there. My beloved Saint Isaac's.